Hi beauties, today I'm actually really excited. Um, so I'm going to preface this by saying this is not actually mine, it is my mother's. But as you guys probably know, every year Lancome and Estee Lauder both do a special holiday kit. Uh, it is normally like you have to spend 45 or $50 at the two respective stores in their products. And then you have the option to buy this on top of that for $72.50. Last year, I bought the Estee Lauder one. And then I actually was for Christmas gifted the Lancome one. So I did get both of them. I was highly disappointed with the Estee Lauder one last year. I liked the Lancome one a lot better. Well, Home Shopping Network, which my mom frequently shops at, they did the Lancome holiday palette or holiday kit. This this guy, that's that's the words that I'm looking for. They did an early release of it and um, my mom opted to get it. She sent it to me and said, do you wanna get this too? And I thought about it, but with everything going on with the house and all that, I was like $150 in products. I just, it's not the right time. So I opted not to do it and she was like, well, do you wanna unbox mine? And I was like, sure. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna see how everything looks in person. Um, it looks really pretty. It's not that it's not a gorgeous set. I actually really like that, like what I think the colors are gonna look like in the palette. The case is always really beautiful. Um, in fact, the cases are some of my favorite things about these kits, but yeah, let's see. Let's see what this one looks like. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's really pretty. I don't know why it feels like, <laughs> it feels like, like a suitcase that you would carry like money in in like a action movie like or, or like a bomb maybe there's like a bomb in here or something i don't know i'm a big fan of the case i like the aesthetic of it a lot in fact i estee lauder's kits i think normally are red and lancome normally does like a black or a gray and i think they have another color normally too like i think this year there's a pink version of this and my mom opted to do this oh wow holy crap i don't care anything i don't say what you will about this but that packaging holy crap look at it Oh, it kind of makes me want to get it now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I'm i not entirely sure. Cause it technically, I mean, we're in October. So it's like, I'm gonna have a couple months to think about whether or not I want to get this gift. And I'm I'm leaning towards yes right now, just because aesthetically it's really gorgeous. Um, but let's take a look at everything. Um, I'm not gonna pull everything out. I'm just gonna pull out the palettes and the lipstick so we can take a look at the colors. But it always, pretty much always comes with uh, their uh, makeup remover, which I personally really like. Um, you've got the primer mascara and the regular mascara. This one looks like it comes with the Advanced Genifique. You? I don't know if I'm saying that right. In Light Pearl. Um, and this is an eye and lash concentrate. Uh, you've got the Advanced Genifique, which is a youth activating concentrate for the entire face. I'm a big fan actually of the Genifique, uh, the serum. I have the face serum. I don't think that the eye serum was included in last year's. I know this was, and this is the eye cream. So the serum looks like it's different than the eye cream. And I, like I said, I don't think that that's something that we've gotten in years past. So that's kind of cool. And the nice thing about these kits is they're like $300 in value because I think each one of those serums is probably about 70 to 80 bucks on its own. So that right there is a pretty damn good deal, especially if it's something you use regularly. I'm really kind of obsessed with this packaging, I'm not gonna lie. Do I need it? I absolutely do not. That's why I resisted it when my mother sent me it, but I, oh God, man. There's part of me that's gonna, uh, I may see if she'll let me test out her makeup. <laughs> she probably will. I can't get the lipsticks out though. The packaging is gorgeous, but it is not conducive to like, oh my God. Remember that bomb reference? Well, I feel like I'm decoding a bomb right now trying to get these out, let's see. Got them, whoo, okay, wow. Got it, did, yep, yep. Okay, let's look at the lipsticks first because um, I'm really excited to see the palette and how that looks. But you know, it's funny. I The only reason I can think my mom got this is because of the skincare and because of the case, because this is definitely not her aesthetic. And I feel like the colors in the palette from what I've seen from the cover are not really like her aesthetic either. She's very neutral and this is like bright red. Um, like I know she'll never wear that lipstick. In fact, I'm probably, I will probably end up getting this lipstick if I had to, if I had to guess. This one is very much her though, really beautiful. And I actually really like Lancome's lipstick formula. Estee Lauder's lipstick formula was strong last year too. Uh, I was very disappointed with the palettes that came with the Estee Lauder one. So I haven't even seen the Estee Lauder's kit for this year. So I can't say if I feel like it's gonna be a winner or a miss or not, but I like the red for holiday looks with, with the lipsticks. I just, that's not my mom's thing. Like I think that's a good one and it gives you like a nice neutral and a nice really bright color, which is kind of the two aesthetics that I always go for around the holiday season. I pretty much always wear some sort of a red lipstick around Christmas and I think a lot of people do too. Oh, 
Oh, I stopped talking because I opened the palette. It's really pretty. That's really pretty. Very, it, I lied actually. I think on the, the cover of the thing, it looks really bright. This is actually a really gorgeously neutral palette and you just have this one really beautiful kind of um, shimmery blue tealy shade down here at the bottom. I would say we've got one, two, three, four, it's like solid mattes. Then there's two that seem like they just have like maybe a touch of shimmer in them, but really were, would be classified more as mattes. And then you've got like five pretty, pretty parent shimmers. And these two shimmers and then this one up here really seem like they'd be absolutely gorgeous. So really pretty palette. I do think my mom will actually really, really like that. I think the bottom slides out, but ha oh, hoo -hoo. there's a tab and you pull it. <laughs> I'm figuring things out, haha. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, and this is a highlight palette. It's a face palette. I can't tell, some of these I can't tell if they're highlighters. This looks like a bronzer. All of these look like they're, cause they're just slightly shimmery. I'm thinking this one's definitely a blush. This one's a highlighter and I think this maybe could be either or I'm wrong, I don't know. Really pretty though, I love it. I love the sliding factor. Of course you also get the dual sided brush. I just haven't used it ever. I've, I've, got a, the, I've gotten this kit a couple times as a gift in years past. And it always comes with that double-sided brush, the face brush and the eyeshadow brush. And I don't think I've ever used it. So I can't say if it's quality brush or not. I know I'm picky with my brushes, so that's probably why I haven't used it. But overall, I really like the kit. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's it, uh, Having unboxed it and seen it on camera, I'm tempted to get one for myself. I, I, I really may see if she's willing to let me like just play with some of the products on camera for you guys so then we can decide together if it's worth me investing in or not. But yeah, I wanted to do this video early since she picked it up kind of before the holiday season. If you guys are thinking about potentially getting it, this might be um, something to help decide whether or not you think it's worth it. I really like the palette. I really like the case and those are pretty much the two things that always make me decide whether or not I want to get them or not. <laughs> I'm really struggling. I'm struggling internally. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I, it's kind of crazy to me, honestly, that we are in October, mid-October of 2020. This year has been simultaneously the quickest and longest year, I think, of pretty much everybody's life. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're broaching that holiday season and it's kind of hard to, to imagine, but, um, yeah, I know I've seen a couple other companies released, uh, holiday collections. I think Too Faced announced theirs. A lot of it has already hit Ulta. Um, I know Makeup Revolution has an advent calendar that is currently only available on their website, but I really want to get. So yeah, I would say uh, with the house and everything, some of it may be delayed, but definitely expect um, some holiday reviews and some things like that coming up. And this is just the start of it because here we are broaching the end of 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Um, definitely let me know what you guys think about the case. Is it worth investing in? Are you guys planning on getting it? Have you seen Estee Lauders? Cause I have not. Um, but yeah, let me know. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe cause we like you too. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.